It was the 1st of January 1973, a day to remember, an important day in the history of Britain. The people of Britain had had their say and they'd voted to join the European Economic Community. They had voted to join a union of European countries along with Denmark and Ireland and now the union had increased from six countries to nine, all trading freely and having free movement of people. Not everyone was happy about it and there were protests. Some people still remember the date to this day as they had voted. They were a different generation and things were different. The world was different. People were more trusting back in those days. They believed what they were told by doctors, lawyers, journalists and politicians. They believed without questioning. They had voted to make their country and their communities a stronger place by uniting themselves with their neighbours. Free trade, free movement and unity, positive energy and a win-win for everyone. Fast forward a few years and the European community grew with more countries coming on board. Spain joined in 1992 and soon saw much growth. People swarmed into Spain to seek a new life, bringing their wealth with them and the country prospered. The European community developed into the European Union, vowing to create a stronger union between European peoples with respect, freedom, dignity, equality, tolerance, democracy and freedom for all. Sounds like heaven here on earth, doesn't it? January the 1st, 2002, saw the switch from peseta to euro in Spain, from lira to euro in Italy, and from drachma to euro in Greece. Prices doubled overnight, with all countries suffering, and many businesses and homes were lost in the financial struggle, with a great toll to mental and physical health. Twelve years later, and the Greek economy was so close to collapse, with banks running out of money, pharmacies running out of medicine and food shortages. It was beginning to sound more like a living hell than a paradise. British people began to wonder if the same thing would happen, if they were to lose the pound to the euro, for surely that was in store for them and definitely in the post as the saying goes. There were the ever-changing treaties from one name to another, all with amendments of course, one which clearly stated the establishing of the European Atomic Energy Community. Atomic Energy? Hadn't the people in the European Union heard about Chernobyl, Hiroshima or Nagasaki? You can't blame the British people for deciding to leave the Union when they had the chance. Was it right to leave or was it wrong to leave? Well, both are right. The idea of a union of countries with free trade and movement of people between them is an amazing idea, and no wonder people wanted to remain. A vote for freedom and taking back independence is always a positive option, and no wonder people voted to leave. Fast forward seven years from 2016 to 2023, and lessons have been learned. After lockdown, people have realised that what politicians say and what politicians do are not always the same thing. Brexit divided the UK bitterly and even split families, but it needn't have done. It seems the European Union lost from the deal, and Britain also lost from the deal. Is it too late? Well, the people spoke, so rejoining is out, at least in the current format. Perhaps a European community for free trade and free movement of people, without the added treaties and the bully bosses? It would go a long way to heal wounds, and it would mean a stronger union between European peoples with respect, freedom, dignity, equality, tolerance, democracy and freedom for all. Exactly what our parents voted for. Perhaps we can make it a win-win for everyone, and have heaven here on earth, because miracles can and do happen every single day.